थैंक यू सो मच एकता फॉर बीइंग ऑन दिस पॉडकास्ट इट्स रियली अ प्लेजर टू हैव यू हियर थैंक यू सुमित इट्स अ न्यू एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी ऑल टुगेदर ग्रेट सो यू हैव बीन वर्किंग इन द मेंटल हेल्थ स्पेस फॉर सम टाइम नाउ राइट कुड यू टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द वर्क दैट ह्यूमनाइजिंग लाइव्स इज डूइंग सो ह्यूमनाइजिंग लाइव्स इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच वी स्टार्टेड इन द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ पेंडेमिक दिस वाज अ वेरी सिंपल स्पेस विद द आईडिया ऑफ दैट people need space to talk and share what they're going through uh there was no strategies in involved that we have to have like a clinical space or a therapist we just started with that there's somebody needs to hear you out but yeah i mean of course it's always good to have a trained professionals so we hired few team of psych- fresh psychologist and we started with this space where people were coming talking about their sorrows their issues anxieties depression and then slowly it started growing into a full fledged organization and uh, now we have like around team of 11 psychologist six uh seven junior psychologist and four to five senior psychologist and everyone and anyone is welcome here to share whatever they want if they have anything to talk about and they want safe space and non judgmental space we are there for you to agar aaj bhi dekhne jaye there is a stigma around mental health people don't want to talk about this issue because the moment you say that you know i'm seeking therapy or i have like i'm going through certain issues people judge you people there is a certain way in which people look at you right to so as an organization like how do you drive that narrative ki it's okay you know like you don't have to be you know sick sick as such uh, to to take therapy and it's normal like how do you normalize therapy so you know one thing i've experienced with my organization because a lot of time uh, these things only reach out to you through social media and through if somebody is talking about their stories so like storytelling is the most powerful medium that's how you create empathy and uh, while when sometimes we take permission from our clients that can we share your story on the social media and they say ki yes you can share or you can remove certain part of my story or you can tweak a bit you know so that it does not look like that is exactly mine but they do allow us sometimes we do share stories people read it sometimes the representation of the story is so strong that it just hits you and you feel like oh god this is so me and you know sometimes that's so me and so relatable because of that storytelling people drop into the dms and they say you know this is this has this is what i have been through and uh, can we talk to you how does it work and then we guide them and we sometimes also do a conversation over a call with them to make them understand that what therapy is what is the involvement what is the commitment needed from them what is the commitment needed from our side and uh, it's my personal experience you know as a founder like most of the clients have come to us either by word of mouth or because of we've shared certain stories on the instagram yeah <clears throat> you made a very important point about the role of storytelling right uh in your experience like the question that i asked earlier in terms of like the stigma around this do you see that changing like now uh, yes. with a lot of more people like a lot of celebrities talking about it most definitely like why i said storytelling because when when people read that or hear that it feel that are ye bhi to bo share kar raha hai ye bhi to bol raha you know i mean we all have similar stories but we all are hiding it so someone's story is always gives the strength are agar ye bol sakta hai ye share kar sakta to main bhi kar sakta hu So a lot of time, you know, happens when you cross the road or you're going to go to a haunted place. You want someone holding hands. Ki main kele nahi varunga. <laughs> so I think story does exactly same thing. Ki arey, yar, jab ye baat kar sakta hai, to main kyun nahi? Mere saath bhi to ye hua tha. So storytelling is really, really helping us remove that stigma. You know, because what you're going through is very common. It's not just you. It's like most of us, and most of the mental health issues or most of the anxieties or stress. only comes through your daily life struggle whether it's in your work it's your spouse it's your family it's your parenting or it just you your friends because you are by product of the environment and ghoom phir ki sab ki story wahi hai you sit with four people all those four people will have similar story so when we put that across on the social media maybe through a live session maybe through a post or sometimes you know we also put 
posters, post of celebrities talking about their mental health, like Hrithik Roshan, Alia, but everybody is vocal about their mental health. Alia Abbott has been speaking at international space with Arabia, Vogue and everywhere that I have anxiety and this is what I do for my anxiety. She also recently spoke about that she has uh, attention deficit disorder. So this all, you know, it's also a story where we're reading in a magazine or watching on our Instagram or looking at the television. It's all stories where, and it's creating empathy somewhere within us. And then we feel ki, okay, if they can, why can't we? So this is how we are working through the stigma, you know, like we're just normalizing it through sharing our stories, our struggles and ourselves over any medium we can and we want. Right. So the what you mentioned in terms of uh, celebrities th- sharing their experiences and their stories, like I was looking at your social media and you have been posting stories of like normal, like day to day sort of general people, right? Uh, about their experiences, their stories, you know, their battles uh, related to mental health. Like, could you tell us a little bit more uh, in terms of how it started and what is the idea behind it? Yeah, so when we initially started the social media page, because that's where most of the clients come and most of the people get to know about mental health and how the organization is working. So we were posting things like anxiety, depression tips, which every other pages were doing it. And and I feel people are very much aware also now. We really don't need to tell them the five tips and ten signs. Everybody is reading, everybody is aware. The information is available on your tip. It's just not that my page will provide you that information. You can read, Google, do anything. But what we felt the difference is when we started bringing stories to the page, which was very authentic, relatable. And uh, people, after reading it, they felt that it's one of them into that story. While they were reading, we used to get messages also, you know, like, you, this has exactly happened with me. Because when you post stories, it creates a certain bond. And when you read it, you're also visualizing it. And that the dopamine release which happens while you read those stories, you feel connected to that person even if you don't know the person, even just by reading it. And when you connect, there's a bond happens with that story and you. And then you feel, I think it's about time I should also talk about it. And this is what started happening when we started sharing stories. So our stories really helped us through getting people, you know, about coming to us and knowing about mental health issues. Okay, this is just not mental health issue. It's a daily life struggle, which we really need to share and talk, which might make us feel better. So, yeah, this is how it all started. And we started focusing more on the story aspect of the page and the and. There, there are no visuals, they're just writing. But then while people are eating it, they're creating visuals, they're enjoying it. And they're creating a bond with that unknown person, whoever story they're reading it. And it's giving them a lot of strength to come out and talk about their own issues after reading other people's issues. Right, absolutely. And I'm sure like with when you're dealing with mental health and you know these kind of sensitive topics, privacy is something that you need to be very sort of cautious about and you need to take care of, right? So in, in when you're sharing such stories, like how do you go about, you know, privacy issues? So basically, these are general stories we come across where people are sharing with us and we ask them that if you're okay, can we post this? And they're more than happy, you know, to put it across so that if they, they feel if it can help other people, why not? We do change names, we do tweak the story a bit, we don't put the parts they don't want us to put. And of course, it's their story, it's their life. We have to be respectful when we put it across social media because it's an open platform and it goes all over and it's for everybody to read, to interpret and to also make it how they want to make out, things out of it. So yeah, it's, it's with full consent, we ask them and they're general stories, people we meet, people we talk. Sometimes it's also a story of my one of my friends, one of my relatives and they're okay with this, putting it across and we do that. That's how we do. Right. While you've been working like on humanizing lives uh, for the last few years, I'm sure you would have come across many, many stories. And uh, some of you, I mean, some of the stories would have really inspired you. Is there any one or two story that uh, that you would want to share? Something that has really kind of motivated or inspired you 
uh, it could be any story of resilience any story of maybe heartbreak or whatever you know is there anything that you would want to share so you know i'll tell you one thing i was a very different person when i started humanizing lives and uh, once i started humanizing lives and i started getting to know so many stories about relationships about parenting about marital issues about any any kind of relationship anything it just changed me as a person i'm the most non judgmental person right now and this all happened because of the stories i got to know through my organization that what people are going through and you know i i really can't name one stories because every story has brought some changes to me and today i can frankly tell you one thing that there is no right and wrong everyone has their own right and everyone has their own wrong so for me it's just a situation where people react in a certain way because that is how they feel is correct at that time maybe when i hear it i think nahi tumne galat kiya but wo uska sahi tha wo us waqt usne wohi kiya so i have just stopped being judgmental i have stopped stop thinking ki ye aise hona chahiye tha waisa hona chahiye tha sabka apna sach hai sabka apna sahi hai and uh, one story which really really brings smile to me is a 17 year old boy which we've also shared on humanizing lives a boy who was uh, queer and he thought that it's a disease and uh, oh, one inspiration for him was again a storytelling of is that aishwan khurana's movies <laughs> he thought that aishwan khurana agar hai to gay ho sakta hai to main kyun nahi ho sakta aur uh, because of aishman khurana because of the bollywood movies he had that strength of reaching out to us and wrote us that you know uh, mujhe bombay aana hai because mujhe aisa lagta hai ki actors ko sab allowed hota hai maine right. unki movies dekhi hai unme unko sab kuch allowed hota hai mujhe aishman khurana banna hai <laughs> so again what brought him to us story right and his story 17 year old boy and we said you you're a minor can you wait before you approach us and he also approaches again when he was 18 years old because it oh. was only 6 months left for him to be 18 right. so after 6 months again he wrote it to us ki uh, aap logo se mujhe baat karni hai mujhe mujhe uh, aishman khurana banna hai right. kyunki mujhe mujhe aisa lagta hai ki main unke jaisa hi hu so somewhere through that story he learned about himself that who is he what is his sexuality what he wants to be and then he approached us and we posted his story and through his story there were so many people who approached us after that that you know uh, you've helped him can you also help us oh so it was a chain so i think this was very inspiring for me and that's when i decided that there should be more storytelling on my page yeah yeah i mean stories really have a way to you know find itself right and i mean the expression itself like that medium itself you know mm-hmm. and i see that you've been using you know different forms so it's not just static stories but even carousels for example or you know videos for that and i think social media does let you do that right uh, and at the end of the day like i see a lot of social media pages dedicated to mental health and typically i see that uh, one thing that organizations as you rightly mentioned they post is ki five tips to do this or you know you know ki ye kaise karte hai what is you know goes thing what is this and that but uh, like these stories are actually so important right because you you connect with them at a very deeper personal level right when you see that there is a story about you know someone maybe an office colleague for instance then you start to think about your office days you know uh so i think story ki ek wo power hoti hai uh, visual stories ki ki kahin na kahin it makes you relate uh, and resonate with that cause and i think you know samit the best thing i feel about storytelling is that you f- you feel okay i'm not alone that feeling you know of having i'm not alone i'm not the only one acha aisa auro ke sath bhi that's give you a sense of strength and satisfaction you know right. even if you don't know that person you're just reading it and it makes you f- less feel less lonely that feeling of feeling less lonely is very important when it comes to mental health and well being that emotions you know that you derive from reading that story that there's a lot of stories you read like ah oh, wow yeah it's so nice and sometimes it also gives you a perception you know maybe the same thing is happening in your life but your perspective changes when you read someone else's story because how he dealt or she dealt or they dealt is very different 
एंड देन यू डिराइव इंस्पिरेशन एंड यू फील लाइक अच्छा मैं भी तो ऐसे कर सकता था Right. So even if you don't approach us, don't talk to us, but that story might help you in, you know, connecting your own dots. Acha, let me let me do this. Yeah, this this makes so much sense. So it only happens when you have a story in front of you of other person, and you know because of the story telling only we did that. There's another program called Baat Cheet. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to ask you about Baat Cheet, but please go ahead. so baat cheet like uh, uh, post is, post we do on instagram is something where you just reading and you don't know the person but baat cheet is a again a kind of storytelling session for us because what happens we you have all unknown people sitting on table we start with the conversation everybody brings one story to the table this is what i was feeling this is what happened with me and when you listen to their stories you there's there's a changed person when you walk out of that cafe or a space wherever we holding that party session there are a lot of people who don't talk they just listen and once the session is over they'll come slowly to us and they say you know this is exactly happened with me i was also cheated just the same way you know what this is the reason you know i'm not able to talk to my mom but after listening to her i feel i should do this exactly same thing so it has lot of power your story has lot of power not just to change you but to change others also and that is was also happening off social media through baat cheet on my on my coffee table and everybody is deriving something out of it and going back home and thinking it because stories they stick to you you they always stick to you to your brain and uh, even while you're sleeping you're thinking about it you're visualizing it and when you visual visualizing it something comes to you you know even your own interpretation comes out of that story ki, okay this is what i can do it and this part of the story is what i needed to fix my life and we have built a community of around like more than 150 people from different places and just not this we also have a baat cheet dedicated to queer community hmm okay yeah which usually happens on zoom because we try doing it on cafe but a lot of time they feel uncomfortable talking because a uh, lot of time they have their different appearances a different way of clothing and people stare at them so they feel uncomfortable talking it because when you sharing your most vulnerable side you need to have a safe space so we started doing it on zoom so we call it a ballroom <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we call it a ballroom. So our ballroom happens once a month, and we have a lot of queer community who comes there with the queer affirmative therapist. Therapist is just there watching them, if in case there is any trigger or any cry or anything happens to con to have that hold that space and make the person comfortable. Else, it's all them talking about each other place. I mean, what happened? How happened? And how somebody came out how somebody uh, tried convincing the mother how somebody uh, got cheated by the partner what happened on the grinder <laughs> so it's all storytelling and they right. it's collectively everybody comes together listen they build and this okay and they take something out of it okay this is what i should talk to my parent this is how i should talk to my partner okay this is the dating app i should not be <laughs> and if i am on how i should deal with it so there is lot of internal therapy going on within the community you know that's like how you say heal your neighbor right so we are healing our neighbors through storytelling through conversations yeah yeah now oh, there's i mean there's a lot going for you right uh, like with these talks across different cities and different kind of communities i want to bring an alternate kind of perspective in you know like there are a lot of people who say that कि मतलब ये सब फार्स है राइट मेंटल हेल्थ यू नो ये थेरेपी ये लाइक पहले के टाइम में तो ये सब नहीं था राइट एंड पीपल स्टिल वेंट अबाउट देयर ओन बिजनेस एंड पीपल डेल्ट विद देयर इश्यूज इन देयर ओन वे राइट बट आज थोड़ा भी कुछ हो गया तो सडनली यू नो लाइक पीपल स्टार्ट टेकिंग थेरेपी फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो देर इज दैट काइंड ऑफ परस्पेक्टिव एज वेल राइट कि अभी मतलब जो रेजिलियंस है एक, एक तरह से वो थोड़ा कम हो गया है या लाइक पीपल पीपल सी दैट राइट मतलब हाउ डू यू लुक एट दिस लाइक इन 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 दैट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स्ट और इन दैट पर्सपेक्टिव आई मीन यू वेरी करेक्ट वेरी करेक्ट लाइक 
इफ़ यू गो टू योर फैमिलीज ओन ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स एंड योर पेरेंट्स वुड से कि ये क्या है हमारे टाइम में तो ये सब नहीं था बट द बॉटम लाइज योर ह्यूमन एंड यू हैव इमोशंस यू हैव ऑल काइंड ऑफ इमोशंस बाय बर्थ इवन इफ इन्फेंट हैज़ अ इमोशन कि उसे भूख लग रही है उसे गुस्सा आ रहा है उसे अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है उसे बुरा लग रहा है सो वी आर ह्यूमन वेन वी हैव इमोशंस तो ऑफकोर्स मेंटल हेल्थ भी है बिकॉज ब्रेन में मसल्स तो है ना सो ऑफकोर्स मेंटल हेल्थ है वो ऑब्वियस है लेकिन पहले क्या होता था कि हम एक दूसरे को हील करते थे पहले जॉइंट फैमिलीज होती थी पहले uh, हम एक साथ बैठते थे हम एक दूसरे से बातें करते थे लाइक like, फीमेल्स होती थी वो घर की चार औरतें साथ में बैठ करके पापड़ और अचार बनाने वक्त एक दूसरे की बुराइयां कर लेती थी <laughs> क्या अच्छा लग रहा है नहीं लग रहा है रो लेती थी तो वो थेरेपी तो थी ना वो थेरेपी होती थी उस वक्त भी इट्स जस्ट दैट हम लोग जैसे जैसे ग्लोबलाइजेशन होता है चीज़ें बढ़ती हैं फोर्सेज बढ़ते हैं यू हैव लाइक हार्ट अटैक्स पहले भी होते थे कैंसर पहले भी होता था अब क्यों लगता है कि कैंसर सबसे ज़्यादा हो रहा है बिकॉज अब तुम्हें चीज़ें पता चल रही हैं उस बारे में तुम रीड कर रहे हो एक्सपोजर बहुत ज़्यादा है सोशल मीडिया है न्यूज़ है मैगजीन्स है पहले इतनी एक्सेसिबिलिटी नहीं थी था तब भी और अब भी है अभी एक्सेसिबिलिटी ज़्यादा है एक्सपोजर ज़्यादा अवेयरनेस ज़्यादा है और हमारे पास लोग कम है hmm. हमारे पास लोग कम है एंड सब फैक्ट हमारे पास ना आज के डेट में हमारी फैमिली है ना हमारा स्पाउस है ना हमारे फ्रेंड्स है क्योंकि सब बिजी हैं सबके पास कुछ ना कुछ चल रहा है एंड एवरीबडी इज सिटिंग देयर टू से समथिंग कि आप खत्म कर लीजिए फिर मैं बोलूंगा तू पागल है क्या yeah. तुझे लगता है ऐसा नहीं है चलो चल मैं तुझे जरा बॉयज चल 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 एक सिगरेट पी के आते हैं जरा गर्ल्स चल चल शॉपिंग करा के लाते हो या मूवी देख के आते हैं सो एवरीबडी इज वेटिंग की तू खत्म कर फिर मैं तुझे एक एडवाइस दूंगा hmm. और वो बात खत्म हो जाएगी किसी को सुनना किसी नहीं को है सुनना नहीं है अपना जो है अपना नहीं है और ऐसी भी एक कम्युनिटी जिसको बोलना ही नहीं है बिकॉज अब शेम बहुत अटैच हो गया हमारे साथ वी ऑल आर इमेज कॉन्शियस हमारी टाइम में आई हैव बीन ब्रॉटअप इन अ जॉइंट फैमिली फॉर सर्टन ईयर्स आई हैव सीन माई ताइजीज मम्मीज एंड एवरीबडी बुआज एवरीबडी सिटिंग टूगेदर सिपिंग चाय दे वॉज नो शेम दे टॉकिंग दे वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू टॉक दे यूज टू शेयर कि आज उसने ऐसे कर दिया उसने ऐसे बोल दिया दे यूज उसमें थोड़ी मोटी लड़ाइयाँ भी हो जाती थी दो दिन के लिए शायद बात भी बंद हो जाती थी कि मैं तुम्हारे घर नहीं आऊँगी लेकिन वो तीसरे दिन कुछ अच्छा खाना बनता था और किसी वो भेज दिया जाता था फिर शाम की चाय एक साथ हो जाती थी वो सब चीज़ें हैं ही नहीं ना अब तो वो कम्यूनिटी वो एक साथ बैठना बात करना मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि आप अपने घर में एक दूसरे के साथ चाय नहीं पी पाते हो उसके लिए भी आपको सैटरडे का वेट करना पड़ता है और उसमें भी अगर आप साथ में चाय पी रहे हो तो साथ में रील्स देख रहे हो एक हाथ से आप स्क्रोल कर रहे हो सो यू फिजिकली देर यू इमोशनली मेंटली जस्ट नॉट देर देन कम्स अ प्रोफेशनल्स ऑफकोर्स यू नीड टू टॉक कोई तो है जो आपको एक सेफ स्पेस नॉन जजमेंटल स्पेस दे रहा है जो आपको सुन रहा है एंड दे प्रोफेशनल दे बीन टॉट हाउ टू हैंडल इमोशंस हाउ टू हाउ यू ब्रेन फंक्शन सो वेन यू कम टू दैम यू फील डिफरेंट एंड It's it's a necessity now with the changing time, with the changing scenario. Family structure has changed. Every people are living alone. There are no friends. There are no families. That you have tight schedule. Other time you are in office or you are in your car. You you need someone, right? So why not? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're very right. So, ah, uh, so, I mean, like, there are some nuclear families, we okay, yes. right? and people just don't have the time you know no they don't have time it, nuclear families are there even if spouses are there in one house they're not together yeah they're not together they're in on one bed but wo us side wo us side aur dono ke hath mein phone hai and then morning happens everybody goes for work yeah or if you have some time your only your conversations are very transactional school ki fees ghar ka ration bacche ko khush karne ke liye ek vacation to so this these are your conversation where are you talking about yourself ki you always wearing a mask always yeah. in your office on street with your friends with your colleagues with your spouse because patience nahi hai aajkal time nahi hai wo bandwidth hi nahi hai hmm. if i sit in are yaar please abhi nahi hmm. i think i'm just tired you know i just came yeah can we talk some time else yeah. abhi mera mera bahut sar dard ho raha hai i just came this, so there's no time there is right. there's no connectivity and jo thoda sa time usme everybody wants to relax on their reels yeah yeah and even with friends right like aap ek aad baar share karo to maybe they'll be happy to listen to you and give you a patient hearing but if you're sharing like your issues like constantly 
वो कितना सुनेगा ना मतलब हम श्योर दैट पर्सन ऑल्सो हैज हिज और हर ओन लाइफ या ऑफ कोर्स उसका भी अपना बर्न आउट है और वो भी तुम्हारे पास इसलिए आ रहा है क्योंकि जो उसका दुख है वो भूल सके तुम्हारे पास चार बैठ बैठ करके चार मजाक कर सके तुम्हारी तुम्हें बुली कर सके कुछ मस्ती कर सके हंस सके अगर उस मोमेंट में भी अगर वो हर बार तुम्हारी दुख को और तुम्हारी चीजों को सुन रहा है तो पांचवे टाइम शायद वो आए ही ना तुम्हारे पास या छठवे टाइम बोल दे यार अब बस कर सो यू यू नीड समवन हु इज जस्ट मेड टू डू दैट you know so that your you learn about your emotions you learn how to regulate your own emotions that you there's less of emotional dependency on people around you and when you meet them aapne wo therapy room mein aake itna detox kar liya hai sab kuch itna nikal liya hai ki jab aap apno ke paas ja rahe hain to sirf ek acha moment spend kar rahe hain acche emotions share kar rahe hain so right. i think it's a it's it's a necessity now because we are so exhausted emotionally and mentally and we have no space and no place to go right. so it's like how you maintaining your body how you maintaining your nails by your manicure pedicure how you maintaining your skin by going to dermat just maintain your emotions now and, and i think your half of the problem will be solved whether it's a gut problem it's a digestion problem or even your skin problem or your hair loss everything is stress so right. you just have to go seek a nice therapy have a good conversation come back and half of your health issues will also be solved so you know there is research that half most of the women uh, loneliness is a very big responsible reason for cancer for women mm-hmm. breast cancer and uh, ovary cancer and all these things the women who are lonely and less loved they they get into this disease of cancer they have higher chances of cancer and half of the women are unloved nowadays right yeah the lonely your heart attacks your diabetes they these are all causes of your loneliness and stress and your anxiety if you have if you're lonely you're stressed you're not happy the odds of these things yeah, happening yeah the odds of this is cancer of... diabetes and heart attacks and all the things. odds are a lot more yeah yeah a lot more right. and we're not understanding that yeah wow that's some food for thought for a lot of people but thank you so much ekta for sharing about your journey sharing about the work that humanizing is doing and uh, yeah really a pleasure to have you here thank you so much thank you. Thank you.